Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Let's Play. We're still in 1.8. As far as I'm aware, 1.9 snapshots haven't been released yet, considering um, Mojang's selling to Microsoft, I'm not too surprised. This episode we will be working on the skeleton farm. Uh, during a stream, I got some stuff together for the project, and so the project chest actually being named, and this is actually not technically a project chest anymore. I have grass in there. So yeah, let us head off to the uh, skeleton location and kind of show you the, the, the road. Because I have done a bit more work on it. I'm um, still wondering what I should do for the tunnels to get there, but it's not on my priority list. The biggest thing I want to do with this is, uh, well, I have a source of bows and bones, um, as well as a better source for XP than spiders. Uh, the, the spider farm, while it's right next to my house, is a bit uh, painful for XP, so I would like to avoid the uh, spider farm for XP as much as possible. Also, uh, in a couple weeks from now, I intend on fighting the ender dragon, so I have also been uh, getting some ender pearls for that. Uh, of course, I'll need some blaze powder as well to make the Eye of Ender, and then we will be off to find the dragon um, at some point. Uh, yeah, so I've gotten the polished eye right in. Um, had a creeper explosion over here, so the piece of gravel missing because of that, along with the grass hasn't grown yet. Uh, also, I haven't gotten the slabs in, so unfortunately I do have to jump. But that's alright. Um, over here where the lava is, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that. I might actually make this into something. Uh, like a quote unquote heat powered power station. Um, a, a, ge a geothermic, geothermic uh, power plant, I guess is what you'd call it. Uh, I would have to find some designs for a geothermic power plant though, and what they look like in general and maybe accommodate for that um, in Minecraft as much as possible. If not, I might have to do some creative liberty for that. Also got this bridge in uh, during the stream. Uh, I had streamed yesterday, today, uh, yesterday from today now, which today is the 1st of October. And uh, yeah, I got some odds and ends done, uh, such as getting all these parts together. It was a AMA stream actually, Ask Me Anything, it was actually a Ask Me Almost Anything, uh, AMAA, -A. but uh, so be it. So yeah, now we are at the Skeleton Spawner. Let's go ahead and open this up. Um, I intend on making the walls out of sandstone. Oh wow, I never grabbed all that stuff out of there, did I? Uh, I intend on making the walls out of sandstone because of the location and then the floors uh, out of the dark oak. Uh, let's see. I believe I have a crafting table around here somewhere. Also, I don't have an axe on me, so let's hope I don't misclick any wood. Otherwise, I'm going to have to manually break it, and that's no fun. Uh, let's see, there is one chest. Uh, let me get a second chest. Um, at least to throw some of these project materials into. And afterwards we can pull out the uh, items from the dungeon and put them uh, out of the way as well. Let's see, good spot for the project materials. Could be here. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff in there. Those are all the project materials. And since I don't have an axe on me, I'm going to have to break the chest by hand. Which is okay, I guess. It works. Oh, there's a couple iron in there. I was not aware of that. Not aware of that at all. And it's becoming night. Uh, it's no fun. Alright, let's go ahead and put this stuff over here for now. Um, not, not you. 
and let's go ahead and grab our sandstone and let us light up this small patch of darkness just a bit. I want to minimize the mob spawning so I can actually work over here during the night without having to worry about getting creepered on again, actually. Uh, by again, I mean the road portion that got blown up by a creeper is a uh, fun thing because uh, I don't have much gravel. If I did, this road would have been already done by now. It's amazing how much uh, gravel you actually need when you implement a road system that uses it. And apparently I didn't disable the spawner after taking out that sand. Alrighty, spawner has been disabled. Uh, similar to the... <clears throat> similar to the spider grinder system, I will be mining out a 9x9 nine nine area with this in the center. Uh, that is the wrong pick. So I can... Right, that goes super fast on sandstone. I gotta remember that. So I'll be cutting up now, getting the room ready. Uh, the grinder itself isn't too much different than a regular spider grinder. The biggest key issue is going to be the actual layout of uh, whether or not you want to take the mobs up or leave them down. Uh, my original intention was actually to take the mobs up, but for the time being I'll actually leave them down. Um, if I want to I can always come back later and change that. So yeah, let me cut out now, uh, do this area, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. I got the room mostly prepared. Uh, what I need to do now is I'm actually going to make a crafting table uh, for down here. I want the skeletons to end up going through this little hole here. Um, let's see, I don't exactly have a way out at the moment. But let's see, the mobs need to be... <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, nine blocks away from the skeleton spawner. Uh, so they no longer count toward the skeleton spawners, or the spawners rather. Uh, maximum amount of mobs permitted. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, here is the ninth block. So this one here would be outside the range. I'm going to go a couple extra just to ensure that it is outside the range and uh, I can do any manipulation I need to. Um, so this is where they will end up going down. Uh, let's see, where did I put that crafting table? Oh, I did not. Let's put the crafting table in the wall for the time being. Uh, just because it'll be easier to take down. And I do not have the materials on me. Already, I guess I'm going to need a way out for now. Uh, let's see, and it is becoming daytime right now. So sandstone can go in there, that can go in there, along with the cobble and mossy cobble. Actually, you know what, I'm going to take some of this uh, sandstone, not all of that though. This way I have something to use as a building material uh, in the locations I need it. But yeah, we're going to be using dark oak planks. Um, I'm actually going to convert all of that. Alrighty. So here's the center point, and that's what the one edge looks like. Uh, this is using a water method, by the way. And that is why I left some sandstone on me, uh, just in case weird things like that happen, or the pick is just super fast. Super fast. Really is fast, like... Look at that. It's taking me, like, no time at all to break all the blocks. And of course, this uh, decoration isn't really necessary since no one will be coming into this room much. Um, no one, as if I'm on a multiplayer server. Uh, except for myself, whenever I need to do maintenance for whatever reason, say like an update breaks the spawning mechanics, or uh, in this particular case, would reset them back to the way they were, in which you gotta be 16 blocks away from the uh, spawner in order for... I'm sorry. The mobs themselves have to be 16 blocks away. Um, that was recently changed, as I was talking about in the Spider Dungeon video, uh, to 9 blocks. Which is something I was unaware of. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be the room. I need to get the buckets out of here. And get them filled with water. 
originally was going to fill them with water, but since there was a river right over here, I figured there was no reason to. No reason to fill them. Wasn't that far to uh, fill it up with water anyway. Alrighty. Got two buckets of water. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need three buckets, I believe, in total. Uh, which means I'm going to have to create a temporary infinite spring in in here somewhere. Alrighty, so this is where the mobs are going to go. Let me go ahead and clear out an area here relatively quickly. Where I can do some work. And this will probably also be the location to... Um, the location where I actually do the grinding portion. So, got that water bucket, got this water bucket, okay. Got those two. Good, good. Uh, this stairwell can go away now. Uh, I'm still going to need a way out, but this is no longer going to be the preferred method out. And I need some uh, cooked mutton. Alrighty, so that comes up to there quite nicely. Uh, let's see then. This will go out to eight blocks, which is an additional nine, which is more than plenty. Which goes up to here, and then I'm gonna have them go down two blocks. And this is where they will get trapped at. And this is where I messed up. Alrighty. So with this in mind, I'm going to take that water away for the time being. So I can do the flooring in here, as well as the walls without uh, having to worry about the uh, water currents pushing me around. Let's see, gotta break these and these, as well as these have to go. Fill this stuff in. Again, completely not necessary, but uh, may as well keep it uniform to some extent. And I apparently did not grab the walls over here. Oops. Let's see, anything else around here that needs fixing? Uh, that block does not belong there. I think that is it. I uh, need to replace the water source, and that should be it for this uh, grinder setup for pushing the mobs into a particular location. Uh, let's see. The best way to get up would be from here, I suppose. Okay, so that comes out to here. That is fine for me. Need to grab the mob softening device, um, as well as... I'm done with you, sandstone. I will keep a stack of you on me, just in case. Uh, the wood can stay on me for the time being, I guess. Rotten flesh can go in there, the bones, the arrows. Well, the extra arrows, I have two stacks on me, I don't need any more than that. Those can come with me, as well as these things. Um, I also need one piece of sand. And that is for the piston. Uh, though I suppose I didn't have to make it sticky. Uh, I chose to do so anyway. Alrighty. Now to... I'm actually going to break this area here just a bit. Uh, again, for the room to work with. And they're going to come down two blocks. So this is where the dispenser will come. Uh, actually, should I do it two or should I do it three? Uh, this has a potential of setting on fire, uh, since I'm using a lava trap, a lava softener. Uh, I will go down an extra block just to help prevent any accidental fires going on. Alrighty, so this is going to be the trap system here, which means the sandstone can be replaced uh, for the most part. Now I understand this can still be caught on fire, but it has less of a chance to, I believe anyway, according to the fire mechanics that I'm aware of. Oh, 
Alrighty. Now for this mechanic. Uh, we get one piston here. Piece of sand. Or a block, if you will. Uh, redstone there. Uh, repeater there. As well as a repeater here. Uh, this should be on four, that should be on two, and that should be there. Uh, now to make sure this actually works, I will forget the button and make a wooden one. Alrighty. It sounds like it works. Yep, it should work. Um, that'll be it for that, the mob softener portion. I do need to make a... Which I do need to get this crafting bench out of the wall here and then use this in there to create a slab and off the side. I don't want to get stuck in there, uh, especially if the button gets sent off accidentally because I will get down to half a heart. I don't want to be down to a half a heart. Alrighty, so we got the slabs. Um... Hmm. Let's see, here is where the machine is. Um. This should give me a good angle of it, but I'm not feeling it. Just not feeling it. So let me go ahead and make this up something different. Essentially I want to be able to punch in here without them trying to attack me. Uh, especially with a couple hundred skeletons in there, if one sees me and tries to shoot, uh, it would just cause a bunch of in infighting and uh, that is not what is desired um, at all. This, sh this should actually work better here. Um, as long as I don't use this pick, apparently. Alrighty, slab here, block here. That should be good. Uh, now I need to, to create a different stairwell up. Because this is no longer valid. Actually, I need to block this off, which means I'm going to make a turn here. One there, and this is going to be the stairwell up to here, which is fine with me. And I think up to here is going to be good for the roof of this place. Uh, let's see, actually, does how many blocks is, it, is this above? Just one. I want it to be just one so no skeletons can spawn on top of the spawner uh, while not disrupting the spawning space too much. Um, let's see, then need to fill this in. And I'll have to get down there and destroy those torches. And I will have to also misplace a lot of blocks. Apparently that is my thing right now, I'm misplacing blocks. Uh, sandstone. On top of this, I will put a bunch of sand on top to uh, kind of make this look a little less uh, dungeon hole. And that way I can also uh, get through there without having any issues of worrying about falling into this pit. Um, Nothing, nothing like falling into a pit where you don't intend to. Alrighty. Now I need to get into here. Um, I don't think that'll be a bad spot to actually get into here. This should work out fairly well. I'm hoping. Uh, the biggest downside to this is if mob spawns from there and shoots me off, I will be uh, in a predicament. Damn it. Let's see, okay, I got that block. Good. I 
can get out of there and not have to worry about it. They should be in a completely dark room. And I should eventually see items here. Um, ooh, I guess there is one bad spot about this. Um, okay, with that in mind, see, is it here? Yep, it's here. I can go ahead and block this off for the time being, which actually is going to destroy this redstone down here. Uh, let me go ahead and take that bucket out. I'll put sandstone in there, why not? Um. That means I want to. That there. Let's grab the redstone torch, put that down. Cobblestone, you can be put there. Let's see. I want that facing in. And then the sandstone here, this here. Uh, what I want to do below here is put a, uh, a hopper uh, so the items get automatically collected. I was not thinking about that when I decided to put it underneath. Alrighty. So we're going to move the uh, segment system over to here. means I need this and that there, this here, that taken out. Uh, did I not get? I did not. And a piece of sand. Okay, and then I need the torch there button here, this on four, that on two, put that in there. Now I can also move uh, this uh, this button elsewhere as well, I just need to get a signal into uh, this torch. Okay, it should work out better the time being, and let me go ahead and briefly test it. I need to unjam the stream. As you can see, some skeletons are already in the system. Uh, hopefully they didn't break any redstone. It did not. Good. And... I need to also close up up there. Just so they don't try shooting me or getting out from above. So we got a bunch of mobs on fire. Uh, I will be unfortunately unable to get their drops unless I was to go in there myself. Uh, since I do not have a hopper. But, they, they died? They should not have died. Uh, two, three, huh. Why did you guys die? Do I need a stone button? Okay, that, so that guy's going to die. Uh, only because I punched them prior. Um, it's possible the other skeletons took damage before they went in there. And that is why they ended up dying to it. Um, it'll close up B because I'm using a wooden button instead of a stone button. Uh, that is also an option. And you know what? I'm actually not going to put one layer of sand right here. I'm actually going to put sandstone above this. Um, in case I want to change out the design inside later on. I can do so without having to worry about a bunch of sand falling in my face and getting rid of, uh, getting rid of the water sources, etc. Uh, as long as the pick I'm using isn't too OP on the sandstone, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And let me just go ahead and fill this in. Why not? Uh, sand. Okay, now I can put the sand on top of this. Yeah, and I'll, I'll smooth this out um, off camera actually. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this grinder. There, there's a few things I need to fix, obviously. So, those skeletons in there should be fresh. They should not have been damaged in any shape or form. So, this should not kill them. If it does, that means I need a stone button for sure, not a wooden button. 
Yeah, they're dying to that, so I'm going to need a wooden button, uh, not wooden, stone button on that. But that'll be it for this episode. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we'll be working on something. I know I originally wanted to work on the zombie grinder as well, but uh, with this in place, I'm going to be able to do a lot more enchanting. Uh, maybe we'll do some enchanting on camera uh, together and maybe create an armor set for the dragon fight. Uh, we'll see. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Take it easy.